What is going on everybody, it's your boy Jason Zone. Today we are bringing you Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Guns for Dummies Episode 1. In today's video we're going to be reviewing the MX9 submachine gun which is the first submachine gun that you'll encounter in your multiplayer adventures. And let's get into it. I want to show you guys multiple things about this gun. I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons, um, the stat line, how it, how it compares against other guns in the class. I'm also going to show you the recoil, the spread, um, hip fire spread. And then I'm going to run a gameplay and hopefully get you guys a good gameplay to really show you, you know, really showcase the weapon in a close range, medium range, and all types of situations. So first, let's talk about the, uh, the spread of the recoil. So as you can see, the gun doesn't seem like it moves a lot. And that's because it doesn't. It has a very controllable, moderate recoil with a, um, a higher rate of fire. So you really don't have to worry about, you know, holding down or putting a grip on it because this gun right now has no attachments on it and I can pretty much hold it dead center with no problem with medium range fights. For example, this is going to be the recoil test for every single episode that we do and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand back here next to this box. It's about 10 to 15 yards, I'd say more like 15 and I'm going to aim about chest high on this wall which has no bullet holes on it and I'm going to just hold down the trigger and not even hold the right stick whatsoever. Alright, that's number one. I'm going to do it again on the other side real quick. Alright, so the first one, barely any recoil whatsoever. And with the second one, you can see it went vertical and to the right slightly. Here's my first three shots, and then the rest just kind of climbed this way. Now, with that being said, the recoil is super controllable. And you can you can use this at the medium range with no no grip, no problem. So you don't have to waste, you know, an attachment. You don't have to waste a grip slot. You can you can go on to something else. If you put grip on it, it's gonna be a lot better, but you really don't have to waste that slot because this is gonna be a test to show you guys how well I can control it or how well you can control it with just stick skills. So we're gonna aim at the target right here under the eleven. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're not going to hold the right stick at all. And we're just going to let it fly and kind of see where our grouping is on the target. And there you go. You see that I, I climbed vertical into the right. Same recoil pattern. Very predictable. So now I'm going to try to not climb vertical into the right. I'm going to try to stay right there dead center on the target. Besides some shots at the end right there because I kind of got lazy. All the shots are on the target. I don't think there's a single shot, maybe one right there, but I don't think there's a single shot outside the wood area. And there you go. So next up, we're going to go into the lobby. I'm going to look at the stats on the gun. I'm also going to create a class and tell you guys why I'm putting certain attachments on the gun. And we're going to compare it to the other guns in the class, talk about the stats before we jump into a real gameplay. See you there. All right, guys, we are back in the lobby with the MX9 submachine gun. As you can see, I have a second prestige max level, which is level 13 for this gun specifically. And the reason being is because I want to give you guys a gun guide that is uh, very in depth. I don't want to just talk about, you know, it's good or bad, you know, fast, you know, strong. I don't want to talk about things like that. I want to talk about where you can really showcase this gun's skills. I want, I, I want to show you guys and put attachments on the gun that will make it perform better where it lacked in the first place. So. First, we're going to talk about the uh, description of the gun, which is a full auto SMG, balanced rate of fire with a moderate recoil. So it is missing one major thing from that description, and that is damage. So we're going to look over to the bottom of the stock of the gun right here, where the, all the stats are. We're going to talk about the stats in comparison to the other guns in the categories. So damage. Damage is 6 out of 20. That's number one in the class. It fails to mention that it's top of the line class, whereas you can go to... Um, other guns like this where it's the fastest rate of fire in class high recoil well rounded with a large ammo pool you know like uh stuff like that superior handling fails to mention that this is the top damage in the smg category um going down the range it's second in range for the 5 out of 20 stat line only following behind the gks which is 7 out of 20 but this gun's a straight laser beam so with the mx9 and some tweaks you can put on a, a grip and a long barrel you and maybe even like a red dot you you might have the gks you know competitor with a little more damage so it's got a faster rate of fire than gks by one point and that might help a lot if you want to put the grip and the long barrel on there and these two guns right here can actually go head to head now 
as far as rate of fire goes, it's 14 out of 20. It's fourth in the class. And with the accuracy of the gun, it's 7 out of 20, which is third. So it's not a bad accuracy. You know, like this gun is just balanced. That's really all it is. There's nothing really just like a standout stat. Like a, even the damage is the best stat in the class, but it's only one point ahead of the third way, three way tie at second. So we're going to go into the magazine. So it has three magazines, as you see there on the right side. And there's 35 rounds per mag. And I believe when you add um, hybrid mags, it gives, okay, so it adds 10. So you get 45 rounds per mag. It, it's pretty nice, but there's not really a situation where you, you would need it unless you're playing something like Control, where the people just flood the hill, flood the hill, flood the hill. So other than that, the 35 is pretty nice. But 35 is fourth in the class. So there are some guns that, that have a few more bullets. It's not by much, though. So the number one in the class is the Cordite with 60 rounds per mag, which is a big difference. But then number two was 38. So it's only three bullets more than the MX-9. So it's not far behind. Now we're going to look at some of the camos on the gun. Starting with the hunt camo down here, which is your, these are your headshot camos, starting with five all the way to 100. And we got hunt, patrol, panther, which I really, really like on this gun. I think it looks clean. Monsoon, which I've been using on launchers because, or on the launcher, because I think it's just a bigger base, it has, you know, more girth. That's what she said. We got the agitator camo right here, which is just, it's okay. And this is one of my favorites, it's the Erd camo. I'm a big Steeler fan, so I really like rocking the black and yellow and representing the black and yellow, you know, and, and having a camo like that is actually super sweet. Next up, we got the Bengal camo, which is pretty much identical to the Black Ops 1 camo. That was, um, it was the last camo that you can actually purchase before gold. Next up, we have Matte Red, which is Massacre. And this is very, very clean. I hope they add more mats into the, the game, like um, a matte black for some guns that are, you know, like tan or green. Or like a matte, the matte green camo was always sick. I, I liked it. A lot of people didn't enjoy the matte green camo, but I kind of liked it. And then lastly, we have the red tiger camo, which looks insane. And for all you Call of Duty 4 nerds out there, this is this is exactly what that looked like. This is not no Modern Warfare 2 red tiger. This is the COD 4 red tiger in comparison. Obviously, this is not Infinity War or Infinity War, Infinity Ward, so they can't do the same thing. Well, it's not the same thing, but it, it is Red Tiger and it looks sick. So um, now to the technical challenges. We have the Roller Rink, which is 10 Revenge Medals by killing a player with the MX-9. This is giving you that, I think it's that 80s vibe. I, I was born in 97, so I can't really tell you what year this was. But I think it's like that 80s vibe, maybe sad, late 70s, 80s. Um, really sweet camo. I really actually like this one. Next is Mother of Pearl, which is getting 50 kills with the MX-9 without any attachments. I think this camo is trash. <laughs> I really do. There's nothing really special about it. It's um, it does kind of change a little bit with the light, but I don't really like it. Next up, we have purple hex, and I much prefer the red hex from Zombies, which I will be working on these at some point, just not now. But you know, we'll t we'll take it. It's it's just another camo to throw on the gun. Um, next up, we have penthouse, which get two rapid fire kills five times with both kills coming from the MX9. This is kind of like your great value gold camo. You have your gold pieces on it, and then you have the little circles. It does reflect pretty well in the sun, and it looks pretty good. And then lastly, in the technical, we have Spectrum, which is get five kills without dying five times, with all kills coming from the MX-9. And this is your Bloodthirsty camo. It is, it's nice. I mean, there was a camo like this in Infinite Warfare, and it didn't disappoint. So I really enjoyed this one. But the one that is the best to me so far, besides Diamond, is gold so here's the gold camo it does highlight it does like light up purple at times and it looks really really cool you're gonna be seeing that here when I'm uh, creating the class and I'm hovering over it there it is right there so the gold camo does like shine purple and it just looks sick it gives you that destiny 2 I mean not destiny 2 it gives you that destiny in general vibe um prison of elders the last the last part of prison of elders and also the destiny 2 first fight I think the callus fight that this is what this vibe gives me it's like royalty and it's, it's really dope so now let's get into the um, creative class so for my play style with this gun I like to be up close and personal but I like to flank with it a lot I like I really like to hit the flank with this gun and that's because it has that faster rate of fire not fast in class you're gonna get outgunned by the Spitfire maybe even ICR but it does have that fast rate of fire with the, the decent damage what that means is we are gonna gun kids up close there's gonna be no chance for them so 
what that means is I'm going to throw on Dead Silence and Ghost. I don't want to be seen by UAVs and I do not want to be heard. So we're going to put these two perks on first. Next up, I'm going to throw on Lightweight because I like to run around a lot. We're going to add a stem shot here so I can heal really fast and you know get back into the action. And then as for attachments, I, I would, I kind of want to go ELO. But for sure, what we're going to do is we're going to go Suppressor and Long Barrel. This is the only Call of Duty in in my memory. I'm I'm sure in my memory that you cannot do or that you can do suppressor and log barrel. Past Call of Duties you can't do that. And that's because, you know, it replaces the barrel. But on this game, all of these attachments are compatible with each other. So there's there's no holding back when it comes to create a class and customization. So with the suppressor, let me go ahead and knock this off real quick. So with the suppressor alone, it subtracts one range. So it moves from five to twenty out of or five over twenty to four out of twenty. And that knocks us down in range, obviously. And you have a little damage drop off, and I think it does reduce recoil a little bit. That's like a un like a hidden, you know, it's a hidden stat. But I think it reduces recoil, but there is damage drop off with it what it doesn't show. So you lose that range. But 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 with long barrel, you gain one range. And since you gain one range, it cuts it off, right? So like it, it, it cancels out. I think in this game it actually favors the long barrel side more than suppressor. So with just just suppressor, you're minus one point, right? And then with long barrel, you plus one point. I actually think this is like plus one and a half because there's still you can still laser beam kits across the map with this, no problem. And it it's actually very very viable, like. Every you can you can fight kids across Morocco if you guys have played on the map Morocco from win, uh, from the little window or the nest to the little like staircase L staircase you can actually gun kids at that distance no problem I've done it multiple times with these two attachments and then lastly I guess we are gonna throw the ELO on there um, and we're gonna throw on the tech mass perp so this is the class I'm gonna run with the whole point of it is we're gonna be stealthy we're gonna flank a lot um, when we do need to attack the objective which we are going to and um, hope we get a couple multi kills, triple kills, double kills, you know, and really showcase the rate of fire slash damage with this gun. So now we're going to jump into a control, and I'll see you guys when we're in the game. All right, guys, we are back, and here we are. I think I'm going to rock with the uh, battery here. So here we are on Seaside playing some control. We have a I, I'm the highest level in the lobby by far because I'm almost second prestige. There's no one even halfway to prestige in this lobby, so hopefully it's a good one. Good pub stomping lobby that is. All right. So what I'm going to do right off the rip, I'm going to work this B side, go this back side like this. Get some information. I saw this guy. Hold this head glitch. I just I missed some shots right there. Oh, dang! Should throw a nade. All right, I'm gonna go mid map. Also, guys, I'm gonna be doing map reviews and um, tips and tricks and spots and stuff on these maps. I heard this guy. I heard that guy. All right, guys, I had to turn the volume up for you a little bit because this is this is kind of quiet. Not a lot. Enemies are contesting zone Enjoy. Enjoy. Hostiles contesting Bravo. Fire break kill. Capturing multiple zones. <laughs> MTC is dry. Give it all you got. You're running out of lives. That was stupid. He's contesting Alpha. We need to actually just cap a base. I need to probably do that and stop messing around. Alpha locked down. 
There we go. Now, I should be able to cut these guys off. I'm playing this really dumb. That's a kill. Oh, he's sitting right there, dude. Come on, man. That rate of fire is just insane. Look like that range. That range? That medium range fight right there. I had him. Wasn't even on the head glitch. Alright, one hostile remaining. Pretty much have this one in the bag. Look how beautiful that is. Let me get you guys in the sun right here. We've taken control. Nice. Nine and four. Honestly a terrible start. First game of the day. First game of the day. This auger right here. This is it's just insane. It hits for like 75 per shot. Second round on defense. Attack him. Get a UAV on station above. Profit downgraded. Like I said, flank. That's what, that's what we do here, especially with this class. Shot me through the wall. I was gonna throw a nade right there. That would have been a nice little play. But on defense, I'm really, really aggressive. I'm really aggressive, anyways. I need to uh, slow that guys. down. Kill too. Good job, Black Ops. Do it again. This is kind of a slow game. And now they're all leaving. Take all enemy zones. Alright, last round. They've lost two guys. Game's pretty much over. It sucks. There we go. So, pretty much laser beam. Pretty close to it. I don't think I, I need to cap this. If anything, I want the game to go longer. I still want to win, but I want the game to go a little longer just so I can uh, showcase. Hostiles are contesting all zones. Mercs are contesting B. We're taking A. Feel bad for that kid. I'm gonna spawn trap him a lot. Merc forces are contesting Alpha. We've taken A. So he has the rampart. This gun is the hardest hitting gun in the damage or damage side of things in the AR class. And three shots with that. It's like the man of war, so like two to three shots, you're really, really feeling it. Rate of fire can't really beat, you know, three shots of just heavy hitting. It's definitely a heavyweight gun for sure. Oh, 
Obviously, I don't want that fight. I want that fight. That sucks. Hate to be that guy. I'm just gonna spawn trap him. Ooh! You got me. Little bounce there, don't have the grip on it. And that was like your uh, fight, you don't, that was the range that you probably didn't want. I wanted him to be a little closer. I had good shots on him, just missed a couple. And this guy got all. Oh, different guy. Yeah, 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 see? Hmm, look how much health he has. Six health total. That was kind of a fast game, but I hope it showcased kind of like the, the skill set that you need to uh, use this gun. Close range, close medium. Not not medium, close medium. And then you can sometimes get away with the medium shots. We went, what was the final stat line? We went 21 to seven. First few deaths were stupid, shouldn't have done that. We had uh, three objective kills. We had 3,500 damage, which was the most in the whole entire game. It was, so really aggressive play style. I was being uh, real flanky, but we killed Big Head, Big Head K13. We killed him seven times. He only killed us once, so that's pretty good. But that's going to do it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, this episode number one. Next, we'll be reviewing the ICR in the AR category, which is this gun for people that don't actually watch, you know, or play Call of Duty or, or don't, haven't got your hands on the game yet. But we're going to be reviewing the ICR next. That should come out soon. Um, maybe this week if this gets enough support. Maybe next week. But yeah guys, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, thanks for enjoying the video. If you did enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up button. Yeah guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I stream every single day on Twitch at twitch.tv slash tizzle in the description below. And I also stream on YouTube now at the same time. So you can catch me on either or. I would prefer that you subscribe to YouTube and then go follow the Twitch. You know, so we can kind of get it going full circle because I do upload content on here often well i'm going to upload content on here often black ops 4 has unlocked a different beast in me and i'm going to be going off with so much content um map reviews uh spots little you know spots and cool little lines of sight and uh map tricks all kind of things like that um gun reviews specialist reviews um fun game modes uh custom games all kind of stuff so if you want to see all that content go ahead and subscribe to the channel it's cod nation going full effect here um, thank you guys for watching. Till next time, it's been your boy Jay Tizzle. I'm out.